Hey guys, this is Unsane21, and I'm here to give you a new video called uh, our new game called Stardew Valley. A game that kind of reminds us about um, Harvest Moon and stuff. So we're gonna start up our character. Really awesome one. Um, That's good. Uh, sure, it should be. There we go. That's. Really red eyes. So we're gonna for uh, Sama. That's me. And uh, I'm not gonna talk much about the game. I've already played it. So I want you guys to figure out what this game is about. So I'm gonna try this my best because my first round in this game kind of full of bugs and stuff. So. I try my best not to um, re repeat everything, so yeah, um, let's see. <laughs> now, what did I get farm was that there? Pussies. <laughs> want a cat because we want pussy. So. <clears throat> and for my very special grandson. Okay. I want you to have the sealed envelope. Troll. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Well, now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When the time happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Wow. Now let Grandpa rest. Okay, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered to me most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed a deed uh, the, uh, to that place, my pride and joy, Bayview Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley. In the southern coast. Wow, southern coast Bayview, so it kind of makes sense. 
it's a perfect place to start your new life this was my most precious gift of all and now it's yours you'll i know you'll honor the family name my boy good luck no oh, grandpa p.s if lewis is still alive say hi to the old guy for me will ya so he's gonna close it and there's actually no way for us to read that back okay The way they animated the bird. <laughs> Hello, you must be Fursama. <laughs> I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now. Tidying thing tidying things up for your arrival. Okay. <laughs> the farm's right over here if you'll follow me. This is Bayview Farm. Ha <laughs> What's the matter? Sure it's a bit overgrown, but just imagine her voice from Fallout, the girl. Uh, if you played Fallout 3 and you've already met the girl that sells the goods, like the weapons, just imagine her voice and you'll probably do it. We're grown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. There's actually a character like that here. For her, it's gonna be probably someone else. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Yeah, right. And here we are. Your new home. Ah, the new farmer. <laughs> Welcome, I'm Lewis, Mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So you're moving into the new into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a more apt though. Don't listen to her first, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> no name. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so you buy one of her, of her house upgrades. Well, it's kind of true though. We want to be able to buy the house upgrades. Anyway, you must be tired from your long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. And introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot that. If you just have, uh, if you have anything to sell, just place it in the box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Actually, morning, but yeah. Here we go. Hopefully, this game doesn't crash. This game has a tendency of crashing on me. Progress has been saved. Four steps. So we got to get to introduce ourselves to others and plant these seeds. All right, getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use the hoe, your hoe, to till the soil. Then use the seed packet to, on the tilled soil to grow to sow your a crop. Water every day until the crop and is ready to harvest. Blah blah blah. Okay. 
of course, it would be nice a it would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around the town. Some people might be anxious to meet a new farmer. So we have this. So we have a hoe. Store important. It's just like connecting things. So our farming skills are mini minuscule. Our social ab abilities are bad. We are in the farm area, community center. It's already labeled though. So at least they got a good video. So places opens around nine o'clock, but Marnie doesn't go there. Um, there's already some stuff that we can build. The torch, light. It gets really dark at night, guys. This is the things that we can catch. This is the things that we can cook a lot. Anyways, yeah, this is our achievements. It can actually grow, so... And this is how we exit the game. Show, hit locations. Zoom buttons. So I keep that toolbar locked up there. Stuff. So yeah, here we go. And first we start with the hoe, uh, with the scythe. Using the scythe will not use energy as much. And of course we want to be able to at least do our farming near. Oh, see. The closer we are to the to this spot, the better. You got to make seed though. Oh, the frame rate dropped though. Ah. Okay. Planting mixed seeds, guys, is a risk. Because you'll never know what you'll get. Ever. So yeah, let's do this. Let's plant. Let's plant our seeds into her. I mean into the, you know. You know what I mean, guys. Four, six, and we got an extra four, so I'm gonna plant it here. And we're gonna plant it. See, they're completely random seeds, guys, so when you try to plant them, make sure. We're gonna water them later because we're gonna do it la uh, later on. But for now, we keep an eye out on what's on the floor. We'll forage as well later on. Oh, not dandelion. Here, look at that. 
So we we'll first go to the doctor's place. Because that's the very first place that we can actually go to. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. It, I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Wow. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. That sounds like that sound more like an insult, yeah. So this is uh, Gus. I'm getting supplies, but he doesn't introduce himself as I. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me about you just arrived. I'm Marnie. She, uh, I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing at any time. Okay, blah blah blah. Hey, it's Fursama, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. You'll almost buy produce from you, almost from a good price. Okay, so we sell that. Um, we need uh, to plant us our seeds. One, two, three, four, five. So that's one. Potato chips grow. We got to add more variety to our seeds here. Force and profit. Variety and profit, guys. We can open this, but you cannot open that. Have to be friends with Abigail, and he's just still... Oh, that's right. I heard someone you were moving to an old farm. It's a shop. It's kind of really a shame. I always enjoyed learning. You know. Okay. Hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. I'll see you around. Irritate. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now, buzz off. Hello. Welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Well, hello there. I'm Gus Chef and owner of Star Drops Alone. Stop in if you need any refreshments. I've always got hot coffee and cold beer at the her. Okay. Hi. Did you want something? Well, I kinda did, but... You just... Oh, hello. It's nice to meet you. You pick a good time to move here. Spring is lovely. Hey, Jazz. I'm Vincent. Oh, a stranger. My name is Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. You're kind of breaking the rule, kid. Oh, you weren't... You aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. It's quite a little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a new farm around could really change things. Especially the prices of food. <laughs> I mean, just imagine. He guys like, if there's no farmer around, like, food becomes re is really expensive and shit. But yeah, you guys can learn. Oh, I can... <laughs> oh, I can read it to your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're looking, if ever, ugh, if you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. Saloon? A saloon. That's where I work. My English is horrid. My English is dead, by the way. <laughs> She's just sulking there. Penny. I can't get anything. Alright, so this is the calendar. 
So this is our calendar. First guy is gonna have a birthday is Mary, then Vincent, then Haley. Haley loves sunflowers. But you need money. So you're gonna forage. You're gonna forage until three. Ah, oh, my god, my lungs. Keep an eye out the things that move on the ground. Nope. Oh, look at that, dandelion. Oh, no, I'm full. Oh, I think I'm gonna sell, throw this away. Hey, Maru. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? Hi, Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, with a small town like this, a new place can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Are you gonna experiment to me on something? What's wrong with you, kid? Hey, so sister. Have you met everyone in town? That sounds exhausting. Duh, but I don't have anything to buy from you. You're expensive. Greetings. I am Demetrius, local scientist and father. <laughs> thanks for your thanks for introducing yourself. I'm studying local plants and animals for my <laughs> studying a local <laughs> ah studying a local I'm studying a local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you meet my daughter Maru? She's interested in meeting you. Yo, nigga. Sebas, okay. So they probably would probably end up meeting Sebastian somewhere else, but for the meantime, let's just talk to Linus and we'll head back. A stranger, hello. Don't mind me, just leave me alone. Leave out. I just leave out out here. This is guy is like this guy Linus guy is. Probably has the saddest story. I but it doesn't really have it like <sighs> I want to cut down that tree. Every time I see a squirrel animation, I want to cut down that tree. <laughs> cut down that tree. Cut down So yeah. There are items that actually improve your farming ability, which is the magnet ability. So, yep, we're gonna hold this some more. So, first thing that we need to plant is that, and then the rest would be this. So yeah, we already have like a variety now, and now we just need to water our plants. And see what, hopefully the game doesn't crash when I try to go out tonight. Like I really want to forage. Or rather... What I can do is I can just first clear up the place. Uh, I'll try to meet people later at the bar. And then, so yeah, that's a good thing, right? So yeah, this game, there's so many things to do. You can't just simply like farm. You can do that, however, the game wouldn't be fun. It's more of a capitalist thing. If you're really somewhat like of a capitalist kind of person this game is for you oh god oh yeah my axe is so fucking weak i will level you up once i unlock oh mix seed ah damn it i have to plant ah. 
we can put it here and then water it watering the flat and then really i have tons of seeds uh three four five and then that's completely random stuff and mix seeds they will help you out in terms of score i will know and the end of the whole thing anyways so just like uh just like um just like harvest moon the whole season the whole game goes out in a very infinite year you can have this play this game for years and years and years with over 200 hours worth of gameplay but it's not gonna be it's still going to be fun for you but the, the only difference between this game and start on uh, the other one is that this game has the potential to actually expand like you can really think about it this is since, since this game is on pc the potential of this game having dlcs is great and that's why i kind of like it because it's only 15 dollars or 500 pesos somewhere around that price i'm in the philippines so i count everything in peso so yeah so they're not here yet so this guy's name is shane I don't know you. Why are, are you talking to me? Oh shit, this guy's so messed up anyway. Hey, hello. Hey, kid. Name is Pam. Hey, kid. I'd buy you a drink if you're ca if I can afford it. Hey, kid. Okay. Okay. Then we can go and forage some more. Oh, dandelion. So we have three more slots. We can go down here and look for shells. There's not even a single shell. Holy shit. Okay. What we're doing is bad. <laughs> so Leia leaves here, and there's a guy somewhere, um, somewhere there. Oh, what the fuck! Oh, let's go to bring onions. I'll, I will leave one alone. Spring onions are... Things grow wild during spring. So I'm just gonna leave it alone. <sighs> hmm, interesting. Oh, so far the game hasn't crashed yet. Jump. All thing I need to do is sleep and that's good. Alright, so this game will punish you if you miss sleep. Um, 12 o'clock, uh, you should be able to sleep between uh, 1, uh, 12 to 1 a.m. And if you miss that, it will cut your energy in half the next following day. So you really have to go home if the game is asking you to go home. So I'm going to take the long route, guys. I haven't cleared the bottom part of my farm yet, so... A long route we go, guys. A long route. Oh, goodness. So, anyways, I think this is it. Um, mostly, this is this will be episode one. So, thank you so much for watching this video. And, uh, oh, yeah, I forgot. I have to sell this stuff. So, I'm going to sell the dandelion, the daffodil. Daffodil? Daffodil is like one of those good things that you can actually give to someone. Um, you can gift a guy with daffodil and he'll be okay with it. So, sorta. 
one of the universal likes no? so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 I'm gonna sell my fibers so probably not hmm. okay then sleep yes survive the first day foraging did it give me a single single thing so 64 ah spring onions no all right so the first thing of it is okay all right guys so this is it this is the first video so thank you so much for watching it hope you guys enjoyed the first one and uh, just keep on rolling with this see you guys next time